Hi, I hope you're having a refreshing whatever day of the week this is. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jorge or George. I'm happy you're here because today I have 14 IKEA items under $20 that I am loving. And I think you should check these out for your home. So let's just jump right in. I don't know if it's just me, but I get very excited when I go to Ikea. I get like butterflies. Maybe it's because I don't go as often and I feel like I'm going to Disneyland or something. Even though I've never really been to Disneyland, so I wouldn't know. But anyways, I got my list here. I got my items here. Um, sorry if I pronounced the names wrong. I will put them up on the screen. This first one is called the Chilk Fruit Vase and it comes in two colors. Or I guess not colors. It comes in a clear glass. Um, or it comes in sort of this like light muted green color um, and this one is $9.99. Keep in mind that these prices are in US dollars and I know many of you are international so I don't know how that will translate um, but just something to keep in mind. I really like this vase. It's I really like the glass one in particular. It kind of has sort of this like organic shape to it but in a modern way and I feel like this is perfect for even like a minimalist. So this is perfect to put on the shelf, maybe as a reminder to water your plants if you're bad at watering plants like I am, or even if you can just put it on display, put some branches on there, some fresh flowers. I think this is perfect, very versatile, and not bad for $10. All right, I'm obsessed with these. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce the name, but basically it's a set of four champagne coupes. These are incredible because they come in a set of four, the $12.99. Not only are these great for champagne, but these are perfect for desserts, for parfaits. So put your puddings in there, um, have some ice cream, your gelato, all of that stuff is great because Something like this really kind of just elevates that experience at home, especially if you really are a homebody like me. I really like to sort of take things to the next level and quote unquote be extra about things. Something like, even though this is not technically like fine drinkware, don't reserve these kinds of items for special occasions. Use them every day. I think this is fantastic for that. Make yourself a nice drink at the end of the day or, or earlier if that's something you're into. So definitely keep those in your radar. I haven't gotten them because they're out of stock in my store. But let me tell you, when they're in stock, I will snag a couple of these. If you've been following my channel for some time, you know that I absolutely love sort of vintage faces with nice sculptural branches, very simple that I get from my backyard. And I think this next face is perfect. I actually have it right here. How cute is this? Look at the cute little handles, very like sort of organic, almost looks hand uh, made. And this one's called the Got the Bar Vase Ceramic. The one thing I will say is that Ikea did something weird and painted the rim like a dark blue. I personally, that's not my aesthetic. So a little Ikea hack that I did as I got a little bit of tape. I picked up this vase from Ikea, $10, really great ceramic piece, but Ikea did us dirty and painted a blue rim around this. Let's fix this. I would definitely recommend you do that. Maybe even like black would be nice or white or just keep it as is if that's your vibe. But definitely go run and get this because on the website it says last chance. So I have a feeling they might discontinue it soon. While we're on the subject of vases, I also picked up this vase right here. This one is called the Still Ren a vase. This one is $7.99, I believe. Very just like a modern, simple vase. Sort of has this like ribbing to it. Go get some fresh flowers from Trader Joe's or your local grocery store, your local florist, go to your farmer's market or your garden. And I think this would look really nice with just some fresh flowers. Put this on your like coffee table. I think the scale of this is, it's not too big if we're being real, but it's not tiny either. So I think this is great to work with or even like hostess gifts. When you take fresh flowers to somebody, definitely give them a vase. Don't just take like a bouquet of flowers give them a vase and seven and nine, I think it's a great deal for that. Or if you want to save some money, I also found, now this vase right here is called the Pad Drag, I think $1.50, really cheap for something like this. It has like a nice modern expression to it. I think this is really nice. Um, definitely lots of potential too. If you don't like the glass, you could spray paint it black. Maybe you can make it look like a ceramic with that baking technique, baking soda technique. Lots of potential with this little vase right here. 
get four, get five, get six. Okay, this next item is technically not under $20. I think it's $24.99. It's called the Huring Basket. Now this basket, this bamboo basket is black and it has sort of this like faux, le I think it's faux leather handles, very modern. I really like this, it's perfect. If you have kids, you can put your toys in there or just put it in the bathroom, put some toilet paper, create a little, a little moment. Um, you can never go wrong with baskets and a modern mask basket like this, you can't really pass up on. Okay, I feel like this next item has been around for a little bit and it's called the Low Cult. Now these, um, it's part of like a larger collection. They have like, I think a vase or other serving bowls, but in particular, I really like this one. It says it's handmade um, and comes in sort of this like beige color with white, very like s sort of modern footed bowl with the cute little handles. You can use it for food, I believe, or you can just keep it and just use it for decor. But lots of ways that you can use this little um, bowl. So let me know what you would use this for. I think I would probably put this like in an entry and put my keys on there. Now, while you're in the dinnerware section, take a look at the dinera bowl. I have it right here. And this one comes in the beige uh, color. And this is perfect because, I mean, the size of it, it's not huge. Um, of course, you can use it for um, serving you know, salad or whatever, but this could also be great for decor. Maybe you can melt down those extra candles that you have or get some at the thrift store or just Ikea even has candles. Melt them down and just create a big candle right here, which would definitely cost way, way more if you were to go out and buy this at like a high-end store. Um, so much potential that you can do with these bowls and honestly any bowls that they sell at Ikea because they have a really nice modern shape to them. I really like the plant section at Ikea. They have the real ones and they have the faux ones. The faux ones tend to look very fake to me, um, for most of them at least. There's a couple good ones out there, but when you're in that section, go to the watering can section and get this. This one right here, I got this for $9.99. I think it comes in a white as well. I love the modern profile of this watering can. I really needed some for my succulents um, here at the house. And I don't know, I just, I think the brass, I don't know if it's real brass or not, but this little detail is nice. Um, get yourself a nice little watering can. Ikea has some pretty impressive planters. They have some nice terracotta ones, some cement, even plastic. This right here is actually part of like a planter collection. This is a cement saucer. This one's called the Boysen Bar. I think it's like two or three dollars and it's perfect because you can also use it as a trinket sort of tray. So put your jewelry on here, um, a little catch-all. I think this is really nice for like three dollars. I did try to remove the tape as you can see here or the tag sticker that it comes and it kind of left this little sticky residue. I'm thinking maybe it could come off with just some hot water. Um, but I need to try removing it and then I'll have to follow up. So check out my um, stories on here if you want to see a follow-up. So I recently gave my bathroom a little refresh. Check out that video if you haven't already, but I've been on the hunt for some towels, in particular some hand towels, and I think this one's a good contender. This one's called the Sejon hand towel. It's sort of this white. It has the blue stripe, which I don't know about that. I'll have to see it in person, see how blue it is. Um, but I think this is a great towel for a dollar fifty, you all, a dollar fifty. Not only is this great for a bathroom, but this would be great for a kitchen as well. You know those aesthetic towels that we see all over the place. This one's you can't do any better than a dollar fifty. So I really like going to IKEA for their throw pillows. I think the quality is superb for what you pay for. And I picked up this throw pillow a cover and insert. This one's called the Gul Quat. It comes in beige and other colors. I picked up the beige. It's nice and soft. Kind of has like a waffle texture to it. Uh, not really waffle, but it's very soft. And as you know, the autumn months are coming. So I'm trying to layer in a couple of more warmer textiles in the living room. And I think a throw pillow or a throw blanket is perfect for that. I will say that I put a 26 by 26 insert uh, in here. As you can see, this seems very fluff because if you just do the 20 by 20 um, from Ikea, at least, it, I feel like it's not as fluffed. So definitely double it up if you use that size. And by the way, here's a little trick or a little secret. Um, I used to work at Pottery Barn and you know how in a lot of shower rooms you see things very nice and fluffed? Oftentimes they double things up. I don't remember if we did that for the throw uh, pillows, but for the duvets, we double them up. I know it might be hot um, to sleep in if the, I don't know, I'm getting off a tangent. Anyways, yeah, get this thing. 
The next item that you should keep an eye out for is this right here. This one is called, this one's a rug. Technically it's a rug. It's $9.99. It's called the Tip Heed. It has sort of this like beige color to it. As an actual rug size, it's pretty small. Maybe you can layer it onto another rug, but this would be perfect for, I mean, I've seen this DIY in so many different ways. Like I've seen people make like poofs or ottomans. Another thing you can do is, especially if you have a sofa, um, kind of in the center of the room. Oftentimes the backside is not so attractive. Some people throw um, sort of blankets or things like that. You can also use this. $9.99, I think it's perfect. I kinda of wanna do something with this. Last but not least, I can have some pretty nice storage solutions that are affordable. That could be a whole video in itself, but the Mope mini storage chest is perfect. It's made out of birch plywood. I think this would be great in like a craft room, a home office, maybe in like a bathroom cabinet or uh, pretty much anywhere. If you like that natural wood, you can leave it as is and just leave it out on display. Or of course you can stain it, you can paint it. Okay, so those are my top Ikea items under $20 that I am loving right now. Let me know if you have a favorite or if you actually have any of the items I talked about. I personally, my favorite item is this right here. For $10, this cute little vase, the cute little handles. The blue definitely had to go. I don't know, I think I honestly also have a uh, vase problem like I have too many I need to stop with the vases but can't stop won't stop if you enjoyed this video hit that like button really help me out subscribe for more videos like this thank you so much for watching and check out other videos that I've done I'll put a playlist here at the end of the screen but I hope you have an awesome day bye